Hey, good day everybody. So today I will show you how to do a post engagement on Facebook and I'll explain to you a little bit why we should do the post engagement versus boost a post and go over through all the details. So as you know, when you create a post on Facebook on your professional timeline, um, it will be pretty much uh, going into everybody's news feed that likes your page. However, as soon as you add a picture or you add a video to your Facebook post, um, Facebook just targets a little bit of people and basically they encourage you to boost a post or do a post engagement ad so you can bump up your ad over on top of everybody else's uh, news feeds and everybody else's news feed that likes your page. And the reason for that is that's how they try to make a revenue and it's through advertising and advertiser and it's a, it's a good model for them. So what I'll, I'll show you today is exactly how to, to do that process. Uh, so let's go and check it out. So this is uh, my professional timeline over here and uh, as you can see there's all kinds of different tabs and information but that's beside the point what we're looking for is the post that I just created earlier so it says if you've ever considered starting your own business working from home but never took action because you're just not sure what to expect or where to start then you absolutely have to watch this orientation video I go over the various types of career from home such as employee contractor business owner and go over their pros and cons and much more after the 60 minute is up you'll be able to know and understand uh, what's out there sort everything out check it out cheers and if you have any other questions let me know so here you can see there's my video for YouTube right now it just says 12 people saw this but here it says boost the post if I want to boost the post it will send it to uh, people that share the interests like-minded people uh, however I, I don't find it's the, the best way um, to just get it out there I mean it's, it's good if you don't know anything else however I just find it a little bit more expensive and there's a, a better a cheaper way to do it to, to get more engagement and targeting instead of targeting just people that share the same interest I'd rather target my personal friends on my personal Facebook page and the, everybody that likes this page so we will go ahead and create that as you can see here there's 175 likes on my page but if we if we go on my personal profile you can see here I got 1787 uh, friends on this one and every time I change something or do something over here there's a lot of engagement and there's a lot of activity and activity is good especially on social media however this is on my personal private account I'm trying to get my friends to start going on my timeline but in order to do that I have to bridge my friends to see my timeline because otherwise my timeline is not advertised to them and they don't know it exists and if they don't know they can't go and comment on stuff uh, just for an example here to show the activity I just change a picture um, on my account here and then I have all these people plus 46 other people that like it and all these comments so there is some activity over here if you look at just an, another example for pictures you'll see this one has all these people like it plus 28 other people and there's these comments and if we go to uh, another picture uh, this one 56 likes on top of these ones and another one here it says 91 other people like it plus these ones and a bunch of comments as well on this so the idea is to get all this activity happening on my timeline so Facebook can say hey this page is uh, attracting people and, and it's engaging people therefore it's good therefore we'll we'll make it so whenever he posts it goes higher in the in the Facebook feed and the news feed is basically what you see on your home over here see this is a Facebook news feed and uh, what we want to do here's a perfect example it says sponsored so we want to bring it up so there's normal friends feed and then the other feeds and then of course there's other advertising on the side and so what we want to do is bring ourselves over here so everybody from our friends and family can see it and get some activity and engagement so I want to go to my ads manager if it if you don't find it here it's probably somewhere on the side over there if not you can probably go down here and just cl click on uh, create ads or you can just type at the uh, on the address bar uh, facebook.com forward slash ads and then it should bring you to ad page okay so let's go in there so what I want to do right now is create an ad so I'll just go ahead and click on create an ad now Facebook is going to give you a few options if you want page likes when you first start you can go click page likes this will get your page advertised to people of the same interest that you say that you have and basically people can go and like your page so you get more likes on your page you can uh, when you do advertising for specific websites click to website is the good one 
and uh, but what we want right now is post engagement so I'm gonna choose here saying post engagement which ad you want to post career from home awareness webinar basically that's the post that I want with my video so I will go ahead and click continue and uh, so here we want it in the newsfeed and the right column I don't mind uh, to have it in both uh, let's see yeah so both of them is okay sponsored stories that's okay it's gonna make it viral a little bit our friends basically it's gonna go in our friends friends newsfeed and then they can see it from there so an audience uh, will go ahead and choose one oh, see Facebook right now is acting up sometimes uh, um, it's it's a little bit weird this usually is a straight line and the box it goes all the way up to here um, but so anyways we'll, we'll try that so I'll just use my personal friends so this is my data so what I've done is I've created a list with all my personal friends on my personal Facebook account so if I go quickly I'll just show you very quickly how I did that so hold on so if I go here so if I go to uh, friends Andre and then friends see all the list of all my friends is here if you scroll down basically it's just gonna keep populating everybody and once I have everybody on this list I just took a little software called uh, like user ID snatcher or something like that I can put the link below and basically what it does is it grabs all the user IDs so let's see if I can uh, show you how this works quickly alright so once I'm on this page and I just scroll down I just click on this little box over here it's called uh, Facebook Snatcher it's a, it's, it's a little piece of software I think that's about fifteen twenty dollars and it's only good for this one and for groups other than that I use another software called uh, Social Lead Freak and then uh, again I can put the link in there for to target specific audience but that's a whole another discussion basically so here I would just click on that and then it says your uh, list of ID is updated so if I just go to just because I don't want to scroll all the way down in, independently um, so here I can just press page down and then you'll see this box here oh, see it's it just gives you a, a list of ID I don't know if you can see it uh, so here there's a list of ID you just click on on uh, select all and basically you paste that in a text file and then once you have your text file you can just uh, go ahead and bring it back on your Facebook campaign where you want to advertise and you just load it up in here when you create your audience basically you just load your text file so anyways that's how I did that so here I'll just go ahead and add uh, some countries actually I don't need because it's a specific list of just my friends and the people who like my page that I'm targeting so here I just want to target people that are above 18 and over because it's mainly business related so it's acting up right now it's a little slow because of all the cameras okay so from my list I don't want everybody I wanna only target uh, the people only people connected to Andre only people not connected to Andre so I wanna use this one because if they're already on my like page I don't wanna advertise to them again because they might see it already I just want to click this one only people not connected to Andre I don't know why this is a black dot right there uh, there you go it's just, again the cameras uh, um, the screen capture is it's probably affecting some of these things anyways okay so if I scroll down from here I'm going to call this uh, uh, career FH post so I'm willing to pay fifteen dollars total and this and I want to run my campaign uh, with a I like to put in three days so I can look and test and see what's going on um, but this one I'm, I might put for a week so from here I just want to go back choose on the calendar if today were Wednesday uh, that means next week it's the fifth and here something you gotta be aware of this is the uh, LA time and I'm in the Eastern time zone so that's three hours behind so right now it's four o'clock over here but if I leave it at four over here it's not gonna start until 7 p.m. and I want to start it right away so I can put um, 
uh, one o'clock over here. So that's uh, Pacific Standard Time. Here I want to bid for post engagement or I can choose a uh, bid for clicks or bid for impressions. Uh, so I'm going to keep it for bid for post engagement. So when somebody engages on my post, that's when I'll be billed for that. So I review my order. Uh, again, I'll just uh, post, yeah, that's fine, okay. Exactly the custom audience that I wanted, who are 18 and older, who are not already connected to my professional fan page. And these are uh, the, the information, bid automatic, and then it's good for one week. So I click on place order. And then that's it. Now I'm going to get some uh, feedback on this video. People are going to like it or are going to say some stuff and that's great. Now here there's a pop-up that says do you want to create a similar ad? And then I do want to create a similar ad because this time I want to target only the people that like my page. So I click create similar ad. So all the, the fields over here are already populated with the, the same stuff that I just had before. So when you want to create many ads, it's great. Uh, so from here, I want to delete this data, f this uh, data file, because I don't need this audience. And so now I just want to delete that data file because I don't want uh, a specific audience. Right now, I want to go with only people connected to Andre. So these are the ones that I'm going to target. It says uh, potential reach is used in a thousand. I'm aware of that because I only want people that are connected to my personal uh, timeline. So that's about 170 people, I guess. Plus, it's in their news feed, so it's their friends as well that can see it. So again, I'm just gonna leave it at $15 per day. And then, um, yeah, from there, if I spend the maximum, it's gonna be about 120 for the rest of the week. But in my experience so far, this is the maximum budget you're, you're allowing to put per day. You don't want to go over and beyond that amount. Depending on how much traffic you get, it, it probably will go to three or four bucks or five dollars or twenty cents. It depends on the days and how much activity there is. So again, the same thing. Schedule. I just want to look. I want to keep. I want to just change that. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then I just want to double check the. Oh, the order here it says do you want to use existing campaign or new campaign I will create a new campaign uh, just because if you use an existing it goes within the same budget as the other one whereas if you create a new campaign this budget is so instead of spending fifteen dollars for both campaigns that I'm doing I'm paying fifteen dollars for this one and fifteen dollars for the other one I just did so here I'll create FH post to fans Okay, and review order, that's okay, place order, and there we go, and that's how you do it. And then basically now if I wanted to create other ads, uh, but not for post engagement, but for something else, um, no actually for this one it would be for post engagement because that's the one I've chosen, but right now I'm done so I just want to click and continue, and now here it says your ad was created successfully. It will start running after it's approved, which can take up to 24 hours. Please check back once your ad is approved. Um, normally, in my experience, it says it's up to 24 hours, uh, but sometimes it happens more often, like it happens sooner, maybe within two to five minutes. There are some things that you can write and cannot write on Facebook. Um, like, I don't know if this one will be uh, accepted because there's words um, on there. There's they have uh, in their advertising guideline Facebook says basically if you have more than 20 percent of words in your icon or in your picture um, it they might not get approved because uh, they don't want like to spam their customer unless you do click to website in that case you can have as many words as you want um, so uh, another thing is you cannot do is you can't have Facebook uh, logos or words in there you can't say well approved by Facebook unless it's true you can't say uh, you can't put the little F logo or the little icon, anything like that, um, to to show that it's from them. If you're talking about like here, 
uh, this is an awesome course about social media and then you have like a bunch of logos like Twitter, Facebook and it's like a blend of everything. In that case that's fine but y you just got to be careful uh, with things like that. Just uh, be aware of those things. And uh, yeah that's pretty much it for now. If you want to get more information about uh, just Facebook marketing overall there's a great course uh, that I highly recommend it's uh, from Michelle Pesca, Pesca Salido and uh, that's the one I've taken myself and it's that's how I learned all that stuff so it's really great if you look in the description I'll put it uh, in, in there and then uh, you can go check it out there's a free I think it's uh, 90 minutes of uh, pure content of basically what I'm showing you like uh, she takes you behind the scene how to create your Facebook page and give you some tips and tricks like that and if you want you can get the, um, the advanced more complete uh, course with the nine modules and that's where you really go in depth on how to do the advertising stuff and gives you all the tricks the uh, pros and cons of different methods and it's, uh, it's a really good breakdown anyways I highly recommend it and uh, hope you like this video cheers bye